Everyone look right here. 13 years after the series finale, Queer as Folk remains as relevant as ever, with brand new audiences binge watching online. We stopped making this like 90 years ago, and people still are <laughs> discovering it for the first discovering time. Discovering for the first time yeah. and think it's real. I mean, it's it's like it's it's lovely. I mean, it's a wonderful tribute to the writers, to Dan and Ron, and all the writers on the show, to our crew, to everybody that this thing felt in an odd way like docudrama, uh, to a world of many people knew nothing about, and now they do, and now they're as passionate about uh, these issues uh, as anybody. It was such a unique experience and such a unique show that these are the people that, oh, I always cry, but the, I only can look to you and you can only look to me to remember those memories together. We are the only two people, women, who went through those memories together, and so it's family. I mean, it's family forever. Everyone smile, please. I, I think it's actually so thrilling to know that young gay people are watching the show because they didn't grow up with all the stuff that we were dealing with right. at That's the turn point. of the 21st century. Uh, we all went through a lot, of, a lot of stuff. So they come to the show with a very different point of view. But the one similarity I find between the young people now and the people back then that they've all said is that you showed me. I saw myself and that meant so much to people. And the other thing they all say is in watching your show, I knew I wasn't alone. And I think that's a blessing. Along with that, I too, I think, you know, the, the circumstances have changed. God knows the clothes and the hairstyles have changed. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, but the emotional stories are, they're eternal. They're the same stories Shakespeare was writing about. They're the same, you know, I, I often say um, people came for the queer, they stayed for the folk. <laughs>